Hi guys and welcome back to Miss Clark Does Science. Today we're finishing off our 2.1 spec point of classification and biodiversity by learning about the use of biological control agents and possible issues surrounding this and we're going to kind of describe this very cartoony picture of what an invasive species is in an area. Okay so sometimes animals and I should also say here also plants are introduced to an area on purpose or by accident where they normally wouldn't exist. Now both of the pictures below are actually examples of animals being introduced to an area by accident. So over here we have a person who is walking through what looks like a forest area and they're getting soil and grit and all sorts in the grooves of their shoe. Now, they could then be on holiday and they could be traveling back to their home country where this soil may not get cleaned properly from their shoes and it could then carry seeds with it or fecal matter or organisms or bacteria, any kind of organism that could then grow on another land. And that's a way that animals or plants could be introduced to an area where they no wouldn't normally exist. In this case, these are barnacles and mussels, which are organisms that latch onto the bottom of boats. And you may not see them, so if you imagine this is where the water line was, where the water came up to on the boat, you can imagine that you may not be able to see these things uh, on the surface of the water if the water wasn't very clear. You may not know that you'd be sailing uh, around the world and then dropping off some of these barnacles and mussels along the way. Okay, so we know how invasive species can come into an area. Oh, and by the way, sometimes these invasive species are called alien species, I guess because the idea that aliens could invade areas. But if you see alien species, it means the same thing as invasive. Invasive is a little bit more technical, though. So hopefully they'll use that. So anyway, so what is the problem with invasive species? Well, the problem is that they might be able to grow faster than other organisms in the environment that they've been introduced to. Or they might have better adaptations for the area in that specific how habitat and the problem with that is that they might outcompete the native species which could upset the whole ecosystem by doing that because you've got to imagine that if they um, start eating a particular plant that could upset the whole ecosystem because that plant is no longer there for another organism to eat so it could mess with the whole food chain and this has actually happened worldwide in some famous examples. One of the most famous ones for Canada was the introduction of zebra mussels to the area, exactly the same way as shown in the picture before on the underside of ships coming in. And this meant that the zebra mussels actually latched onto and ate away at native species of mussels and barnacles. And this caused massive disruptions to local wildlife or marine life in, in and around Canada. So how do we stop this happening? So research is fundamental and it's a continuous worldwide effort to trial species and control their introduction to a new area. So they do trials where they see how it affects the ecosystems and whether they think it will be a massive upset or just a small uh, blip and then they might control the introduction to a new area. Something that they did locally to me actually, uh, we actually had an invasive species of moths that were coming in when they were building our, uh, a new flat complex. And then what they did to combat this introduction of moths, excuse my awful uh, picture of a moth here, is they carefully introduced a new species of spider into the area that would eat the moths and rebalance the ecosystem and then what happened we then had too many spiders so we actually didn't solve a problem and in fact more people are scared of spiders so it caused a bigger problem than we had originally and that's how these things can go wrong and that's why trialing species and controlling their introduction is really important apologies that all my doodles just disappeared so one thing that countries can do to stop the introduction of invasive species to their lands is to put customs declarations on their transport methods in and out of the country so this is actually a flyer for uh, the united states of america so you can actually get fined and delayed if you try to fly on board with any of these products and you don't declare it so you need to declare it so you can still bring these things abroad but you need to make sure that you're following the regulations around this and you may have to get them inspected for the introduction of invasive species and if you ever watch some of those shows uh, like border con control shows they will often have issues with this as well and this is why 
So this is actually the end of 2.1 classification and biodiversity. And this is the first topic of the year 11 biology GCSE in science. And I hope that you find found it interesting and informative. As always, if you have any queries, leave it in the comments below and I'll try and reply to you as soon as possible.